tutorial today. This is the start of my Valentine series. Um, I done one last year and that was really popular but it was so early on in my YouTube um, journey um, that um, I guess maybe there are some people that haven't seen those projects so what I'm going to do is share them all in this little info thing that should pop up now so you can see those as well because there's some lovely little boxes there that I made um, and then for this series I've got some new ones so I'm starting off with this really pretty trinket box which has got a swivel lid and basically you just I've got these nice little gems here like a little key charm you just turn it around and inside it reveals this little box and this is lovely to put some little Hershey kisses in um, you could put a nice little piece of jewelry in here as well if you're giving to your daughter um, obviously you could change the colors to make it more like in the blue tones and then it would be a nice little gift to give your son or your husband or your boyfriend fiance girlfriend anything um, that's what Valentine's Day is about it's about sharing the love and it just twists back round there or swivels back round and you can see it's like those um what are those ice cream sandwiches between the wafer it reminds me of that kind of look it's really really easy to do um i've made similar i've made a circular swivel box and i've also made a square swivel box and i'll share those links as well um so these can be used not just for valentine's day you can change the shape and use them for any so let's crack on and make it so you're going to need for this one here so i've got a few bits and pieces oh, focus one a bit funny then okay so um the heart that i've got that i used here is absolutely beautiful can you see it just catching there and it's this pack here that my sister she got me lots of little craft bits and um I don't know where it's from. I think this is the the works actually in the UK. Um, but if I speak to her soon, I will find out and I'll just mark it down because there's no website um, or anything on here that I can see. But they're gorgeous, really, really lovely. So I've got them. So any kind of embellishments. I've got a selection of heart dies here just for that little kind of key charm that was kind of hanging down. Um, the largest heart that I've got to make the box so if you want to get a similar size to what I'm doing because for the box size so this size here you will need obviously this particular size heart or bigger you don't want to have anything smaller so the one I'm using is the frame from this tonic studios um, one here which is called all my love um, affections what did I write down there affection insert die again I've, I've got links for this so I'll share all of those but it's just the bigger one here that sits around the outside and now this one here so you're going to need a heart shape that's going to be what's this three and five eighths of an inch wide and then length we're looking at three and a half so you need something that is that size or bigger and then the box that I'm going to make today will fit fine but if you've got a smaller heart then the box size you would have to adapt if you know what you're doing okay so that's the size for the die the paper pack I'm using because I was um, I'd only started my YouTube channel in January last year um, lots of products I brought I never really kept the packaging or the names and so on and so forth so these papers here I purchased um, in the sale and they are by Dove Crafts and they're called the XOXO paper pack now I can't find these ones being sold anymore I will look on eBay and Amazon but these are a lot of the papers I'm going to be using for this Valentine's just purely because I've got them they're lovely and I want to use them however Dovecraft have a new one which is called Hearts and Crosses. It's a six by six pack, 48 sheets, exactly the same as this. And I will share those links below because they're beautiful. And they do have the XOXO and the hearts and things like that. So it's very, very similar. But this is the paper pack. So if you do have that as well, then that's the bonus. Okay, so you are first of all going to need to die cut. So you need like a strong card. So the chipboard um, or the card that you get on the backs of your paper packs are really, really good. And that's what I use a lot of. And I use them, um, big sheets of it on the back of my calendar that I recently purchased, um, uh, put up. So basically what I've done is I've die cut. So that one's already done. So just ignore that. You need to die cut. If it's a thick piece of card that you have, then just die cut two of the hearts. I've die cut four in total because obviously this one's done and it's all stuck together. And basically these are from the, the, you know, the tops of the paper packs and I'm going to stick them together like so. And that with the wet glue, once it all dries, dries really, really strong. Then I've die cut two more. 
so this one and this one of the papers that I'm using and that will go on top of the heart okay so just kind of use your judgment you just basically want it to can you see I can't bend that that's how hard that is now um, I can still get a hole punch through it but it, you want something that's really really strong um, and that's what makes this a real kind of nice keepsake forever kind of box um, so like I said so only two pieces of the card if it's really really strong if not four pieces and stick them together like I'm doing and then two pieces of your paper okay once I start putting it all together it will probably make more sense then you need for your actual box a piece of I'm using white just because I want it to complement the kisses that I'm using this or the kiss me and this is eight and a quarter by four inches okay so what we're going to do is first of all along the eight and a quarter inch side we're going to score at two inches at four inches at six inches and at eight inches then rotate so that you have your tab here at the bottom and you're going to score at two inches and three inches okay so that's all you need to do let that kind of focus back in there the white's not great but you can see that it's just picking it all up okay so that's what you want tab here on my right hand side and then I've got these four columns okay then you need a tiny piece here and this measures at three and seven eighths of an inch by one inch and first of all along the one inch side you just want to score at half an inch so just right down there through the middle and then along the three and seven eighths of an inch side you want to score at one inch okay then pull the card out ever so slightly so just moving it away from the edge of the scoreboard there but not quite up to that first marker and then you're going to score at three inches and this is just going to sit inside and it's going to be this piece here which is what we're going to be attaching our lid onto okay so that's all the scoring done get rid of that now we just need to grab our paper and burnish all of our score lines so first of all do my little tap okay so that's that one all burnished and then again here just carefully just fold that one I do this one with my fingers just because it's a bit smaller just burnish all of those okay so that's all ready when we get to that I'm going to go back to this one here I'm just going to get this all stuck down so like I said these are just two pieces of that strong card from my paper packs okay so I've just stuck that one on top just line it all up there make sure I get rid of any glue so now this cut this um the glue that I always use is this Alina's tacky glue and it doesn't warp your paper so it doesn't make it curved or wrinkly or put like an arch in it so it doesn't lie flat anymore so it's perfect for these kind of things I mean you can see there just how straight all of that is and this one here so they're perfect right and then I'm just popping a bit on top of here like I said the reason I'm using glue for this is because it dries really hard if you don't have um, a good wet glue you can still use um, any kind of double sided tape red tape things like that just make sure you get them right up to the edges so you can get a really nice finish um, but just for that kind of um, real precise and the hardness kind of side to things the wet glue is really really good okay so again just sticking that one down nicely there like so so i can just leave that to one side now while i carry back on again with the box okay right so back to the box again so the bottom two by two squares here so you have four two by two squares then your tab this is the base and then this is the reinforced sides okay so grab a pair of scissors and with that tab here on the right hand side first of all just cut up just remove the score line just cut that out and just put a little notch here and then I'm going to cut out the top piece again I'm removing that score line 
Okay, now with this end one here where the tab is, this top one, just take a little bit more off. You'll understand why in a minute because we're going to be folding this into this piece. It just takes that little bit of bulk out the end so that you don't kind of get it buckling when it's all together. So back to the bottom two by two squares, you just want to cut up each one. I appreciate, um, apologies, sorry, that the white does can cause quite a glare. So um, hopefully you are picking this up okay. So I'm just taking out, as I always do, cutting up each of these, but taking out the score line. So I'm just taking out that bulky bit. If I lie it down there, you can see how much I'm removing. So just little slithers of the card. And again, this just all helps with the overall finish. Um, and you don't get anything overhanging. Okay, so that's like so. Okay, so now turn it over so the tab's on the left. This is all the inside now. What we're gonna do, and this, again, this is why it's good to use wet glue for this piece, because it gives you that wiggle room, because what we're gonna be doing is gluing all along here, folding this down, okay? Then turning it all around, and then we need to just still lift that little end up and put our tab in. So if you're gonna use wet red glue, what I would say, um, red tape or any double-sided tape, is don't glue right up to this point here. Okay, so don't glue right up to the right hand side of the tab. Um, again, watch me do this and then it will all make sense. But if you're using wet glue, then just carry on as I am. So I'm just putting glue all in the middle squares, or rectangles even, all the way along the middle there. Like so. Okay, and then just going to flip it over and just put a little bit of glue on that tab there. And then, holding it up, just fold this all in, like so. And then bring it around and just carefully open up that end piece there and just slide in the tab. Okay, and then just hold that all in place, make sure that all sticks and you get a really nice right angle corner there. Just spend time on that tab first, because once that's secure, then you can go around. And we're going to finish it all in just a minute. Just pop it on its side, side, and with your bone folder, just go round. Just make sure all the glue inside is all spread out. Turn it over, and then what we need to do is where your join is. So that'd be the back of the box. So just make sure that's stuck down there. So this is the back here, this bottom right, so I'm going to be pushing this one up first. So pop some glue on that, don't need to be too precise. Stick one of those down and then some more, just make sure you get the glue around the edges. Again this makes this a really really strong box, bring that one down and then again that last one. By putting this one down last, you will get a nice curved front of your box, which is that one there. Okay, so turn it over, then you can just pop your fingers inside there and push it all down. And just go around and just make sure you've got nice little corners and the box is all nice and square. Okay, so that is our little inside to our box. Then we've got this piece here which we've burnished like so. So what we want to do is, and if I remember, so that was the back. Yeah, so we're going to be cutting out. So cut up just to the first score line. So you're cutting the two pieces like so. And then I'm going to cut that one out. Okay, and again here, just cut down and cut that one out as well. And then basically that's gonna sit in, again, where's the back? The back of the box, like so. Okay, so what you wanna do before that is we need to put a hole punch in it. So I'm just gonna grab my ruler, grab a pencil, and we just want to mark the middle point, so ignore the tabs, you're doing measuring from here, so it's two inches, 
just with one inch there, just put a little dot in the middle, like so. Okay, so you can just see, I've just done there, just that little pencil mark. And then grab a hole punch, and in fact I've got a smaller one. Okay, I've got a smaller one here that I'm going to use, like so. Okay, if you don't have a small one, you can just use a pokey tool, one of these, and just pierce through there. That'll be fine, because you're not going to see this. Okay, so now what we need to do is, I'm going to use red tape for this piece. Um, so I'm going to run some tape along the back piece. And then just along both of these. First of all, I'm going to stick the back down, I'll take that off, so again, that's the back there, pop it in and just move it down so it, until the top pieces, you know, these, these corners here, hit the corner there and then just push it back onto your box and stick it down, like so, and then remove the tape from these two sides. Okay. Again, bring them both in. Bring one right in like so, and then you can just focus on one side. So bring that one down. Make sure you get a really nice right angle. It's all in there nice and flush like so, and stick it down. And then this other one now, you can just bring down and do the same. Okay, so that's what you should have. That's all sorted. Okay, so now we can go back. So that's my one that I've just done so I'm going to keep that as my base because it's just still a little bit you can feel it is cold so that the glue is still kind of setting so basically we're going to be sitting this inside our heart now you want to make sure you've got equal distance on these two corners here and equal at the top here so roughly I'm coming in just under a quarter of an inch from the top there and it's a little bit shy of a quarter of an inch on both of those corners there as well so I'm just going to grab again some of this glue, focusing on the edges there. You could use a hot, hot gun, hot glue for this as well if you wanted, for the bottom anyway. So again, I'm just looking over my camera here, So, but by using the wet glue again it gives you that wiggle room so you can make sure that you're happy. I think that's good with where that needs to be. Okay, like so. Okay, give that time to set. Now, also, what I need to do is I forgot to measure. Let me just work out what that roughly is. Yeah, half an inch. Let's just do that on here as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, so you get your lid, pop it on top with your finger and thumb. See, I've got the bottom there on my thumb and then the top there. Flip it over, and again, with your other hand, with your other finger, finger, finger and thumb, and get it all perfect, all in line. You should be able to feel that it's all centred. When it is, just squeeze the middle, like so, so you can let go, and it should now be upside down. And what you want to do is, with the front, just lightly with a pencil, just draw a corner and along the top there, like so. Okay? Now by doing this, you know, also you can see if you've got it straight, so I'm pretty happy with that, but you want, you've got to make sure that you do your hole within, below this line, this pencil line, otherwise it would not go on the top of this, it would, you'd basically be putting the hole through there and it would go off the top of the box and it wouldn't work. So what we can do now, so again just make sure that that is completely straight, I think it was, maybe the box is maybe a little bit crooked. I think that's okay. I'm just checking it again. I think I can afford to maybe redo that corner there. Again, you can rub all this out. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now from the centre of the heart here down to this score, this um, punched hole, 
I'm looking at just over half an inch. So again, I know now that from there, just come down just about half an inch and I've got that hole there. Now I can grab my hole punch and again I'm going to use the smaller one, pop that through and then I've got my hole. So now I can go and remove all of these pencil marks. Some dirty finger marks by the looks of it as well. Get rid of all of that. Okay, so that's all that done. Then I've already done these bits here. What I've basically done is I've just die cut two of each size, stuck them together so they're nice and strong, and then I've sandwiched some string in between them. So for example, here are two that I've done here. Make sure you've got the reverse side. I'm going to grab a little bit of my wet glue, stick my string there in the middle, and apply some more glue over that. Okay, and grab your other one. Make sure again you've got the right side up, and just stick that so that the string is in the middle. And just make sure there's no glue anywhere. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, sorry, my um, camera just decided to turn itself off then. And um, basically what all I've just done is cut these all to the same length. And basically you just wanna hover it over the hole punch on your lid here, and just make sure that none of them are gonna hang down below. So you can see that I've got a little bit of a room there. Okay, so just cut all three of them down. Now what I'm gonna do is with your brad, if you just split your brad open, like so. Okay, and then grab, some hot glue here. I'm just going to splodge it into the top of the brad and then with your little piece here with all of that watch your fingers if you've got a spatula a little silicone spatula but this is just not long heated up so it's okay I can really squish it down there. Okay so that's all in place and then as you close your brad on top that will also put some more pressure on it and split that back up okay I'm going to turn it over you've got your little kind of hanging charm and then you just need to pop the rest through there so you don't see any of that mess okay and then turn your box upside down so you can see where you're putting it and you can just make out I can just see the bottom of the brad there so it's enough room to put my finger in and just split the brad apart again really push it down see now it's all nice and flush and then just twist that all around my little brad I think I've stuck it down too too tight there we go that's okay and there you will have your little hanging charms Again, you don't have to have these hanging, you could put a little sentiment on there as well. Um, so if you imagine that's not there and you've just got the brad there just to loop it around, you could have to the one I love or to my Valentine. So you could do other things on there as well, but these are gonna be little gifts. So that's why I've done that. So there you go. So there's my two little, very pretty, swivel, heart-shaped trinket boxes. So I hope you've enjoyed this first tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't so you get to see the rest of the series. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, bye.